Hi there, I'm Aid Stone, your Life Design Coach. So, this is the third in a series of videos on a specific topic, and the topic is the way to start your day. Well, there are many ways to start your day, but this is a great way to start your day, and I definitely recommend it. I'll put a link below to the original post that started this series. Now, today's topic is affirmations. Last year, I had set a financial goal, a goal that I wanted to reach by December 31st. I wanted to reach a very specific amount of money by that date. I had written out my affirmation, I had followed all of the great advice from Thinking Grow Rich on how to formulate it and how to make it effective. Now, when I got to the end of the year and I looked to see if I had reached that goal, which I was a bit, naturally a bit concerned about, I realized, wow, I did reach the goal. Now the strange thing is, is that I hadn't felt like I would reached the goal because I was looking at certain uh, areas where I was expecting to reach that financial goal. And then I looked at my affirmation and I realized my affirmation was relatively vague in the, in the sense that with the goal that I had in mind, my affirmation made the goal come from a variety of, of places, right? So I wanted to receive the, that financial goal from a variety of places. That's how I had written my affirmation. Then I realized I got exactly what I was affirming. So, noticing that, I, I made a decision in 2015, I want to be more specific. I want to take that same goal and I want to reach it within this specific source of income. So, now I'm just adjusting that focus. Yes, the affirmation worked, but it, it was not specific enough and on my end, I failed to demand it exactly the way that, it, that I wanted. This is something very important to take away when you're using and engaging in affirmations. Yes, they work, but at the same time, they're very, very specific, and you need to be specific. I have a copy of Think and Grow Rich here. Now, when he originally gave these six steps, it was with the specific purpose of bringing and attracting money into your life and reaching certain financial goals. You can use this in any of your area of your life when you're trying to reach a goal or effect change or reach for something that previously had been unattainable for you. So, they go like this. Number one, fix in your mind the exact goal. In this case, the exact amount of money that you want. But in any other case, it could be uh, a specific uh, experience you want to have, or a specific item that you want to possess, or a specific activity you want to be involved in. Second, determine exactly what you intend to give in return for this thing. Now, in the case of money, naturally, it, you, it, you'd be rendering a service or a product or be involved in some sort of a business. But in other ways, there may be other things that you would need to give in order to receive what you're looking for. Third, establish a definite date for when you intend to possess the money or the goal that you desire. Be very specific. Set the date. Yeah, it might push you a bit. It might scare you a little bit, but that's good. You need that challenge. Next, number four, Create a definite plan for carrying out your desire. Uh, if, you're, if it's something that you want to be involved in, you may need to get yourself in a new circle of friends or attend certain activities. When it comes to money, there may be some business opportunities you need to be able to get engaged in. Now, the fifth one is write out a clear, concise statement. And this would be your affirmation. A very clear, concise affirmation of exactly those points that I mentioned earlier and the goal by which you intend to receive it. And make it, if possible, in present tense, and make sure that all your language is positive. You're not coming away from anything. You're not trying to get rid of anything. You're going towards something. It's growth. It's a positive action. And then number six, this is a very important one. Read that affirmation twice a day, once in the morning when you wake up, once in the evening before you go to bed. Now the real key here is three things. You need to see it, feel it, and believe that you really have that goal, that thing that you desire. So see it with your mind's eye. Feel it. Feel the emotion that you would have in, in, in possessing, in being in possession, or being, being able to experience that thing, and really believe that you can do it. So follow these simple six steps. Write down your affirmation and begin using it today. You may want to start with a short goal, something that you can reach within 30 days. But the point is to begin doing it so you begin to receive the results that you've been looking for. Here's a quote for the week from Claude M. Bristol. He said, It's the repetition of affirmations that leads to belief. 
And once that belief becomes a deep conviction, things begin to happen. Now, for the affirmation. My thoughts have power. I will only give energy to thoughts that serve me. As always, I would love to hear from you. Please, leave a comment in, in, comment in the comment section below. I'd love to hear, what is it that you are working towards? What is it, what is your dream? What is the thing that you want to use affirmations? Maybe you wanna change a belief about yourself and just have a different outlook on life. Whatever it is, leave me your ideas in the comment section below. If you're watching this video anywhere else, this, uh, I blog over at coachingreallyworks.com. That's where all the action is. Come over and pay me a visit. I'd love to see you there. I'm Ed Stone, and this is Coaching Really Works. Take care.